Hello, beloved friends. Welcome back to the Courage Within podcast with your host, Livier. In today's episode, we're going to be exploring the courage to be present. I love this term, the present, because it's not the past, it's not the future. It is a gift because it is all that we have right now. The Bible has so many different verses that encourage our hearts, our minds, our soul to be in the present moment. I know for me, I used to be riddled with anxiety and I used to really dwell in depression and I toggled between being really anxious or being really depressed, being really anxious, being really depressed. And what the Lord has taught me is that if we live in the present moment, if we pray for our needs to be met in this present moment, God will never forsake that request. He is a gracious father who gives good gifts to his children because he is a perfect father. And maybe we're not getting everything we want, but we do get what we need. I want to read to you a scripture that I love. I'm going to read to you out of Matthew 6, verse 34. It says, therefore, do not be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. We have enough to think about for just the present day. And if our minds keep going to the future, a future where God can't give us what we need, listen, we only have fabricated thoughts of what the future will look like. And more often than not, we're thinking about a future without our God in it right? And we're feeling all these anxious feelings in our body because we're allowing our minds to go into a future that we don't truly know whether that's going to happen or not. I'm not saying that we shouldn't be diligent to plan for our future. I believe that there is so much goodness when it comes to being a planner, thinking ahead, being proactive, and thinking about your future and sort of preparing for it in the best way you can possibly prepare. But I'm thinking about those ruminating thoughts about, oh my gosh, like tomorrow I have this test. I'm going to fail because I didn't prepare. Um, This person's going to do this if I don't do that. Tomorrow when, you know, when I have to go here, this is what's going to happen. And then we give way to these thoughts that are just a constant loop of anxiety. Or we're looking behind us and looking to the past and feeling those wounds, those deep, deep wounds of things that have happened in our past. And we're not allowing the Lord to heal us from that, but we're staying in those things as a victim. And I want you to think of this. The Lord died so that you would have life and have life abundant. And that means that in this time on this earth, we will never have a perfect life. We live in a broken world. We live in a place where there is trouble. There's uncertainty. There's all kinds of things that your mind can go to either by way of anxiety or looking back and being depressed over your past, right? Both of those are catalysts to just feeling sick, feeling off, feeling not good. But if you allow God to keep your mind in today, in the present moment, even just, not just today, but in this second, right this minute, where are you? Right this minute, how blessed are you? Right this minute, how many things can you say that you are grateful for? I bet you, you have a list, a list, a long list of things that you can say, my needs have been met today. I am breathing and able to watch a video, right? I'm able to listen to a podcast because God has given me life. I'm not saying that you should dismiss your old wounds or your past. I'm saying that if you give your past to the Lord, if you heal with God, there is an episode called called The Courage to Heal. And that is one of my favorite episodes that I've ever filmed. And I talk about everything that happened to me as a child. I've had a very traumatic past. And I, out of, you know, a lot of people have had a lot of trauma to overcome. I was dwelling in my past because I kept feeling ashamed of my past. I was I was so depressed over the things that I had done and had been done to me. And I was living in a victim mentality. And I was sort of wallowing in self-pity. And also, I was only thinking about anxious future, right? So depressed is all heck and bobs because of things that have happened to me in the past. And anxious is all heavens because 
of things that I'm worried about because of the, th- the evidence I have from my past, right? So God really convicted me one time and asked me, do you trust me now? Do you trust me for this moment? Do you trust me for today? Can you see the things that I have done for you right now? Do you see the things that I have given you in this moment? Are you able to just slow down and be in this present moment? And I had to really sit with that and understand that, no, I wasn't being present. I wasn't giving myself the opportunity to just chill and relax and and, and just think about today. But when I did, an extraordinary thing has happened. I have become so much less reactive to my past and so much less reactive to the anxious thoughts that come in for the future. When I have a thought about the future that does not contain the Lord in it, I always think of like, I capture it and I'm like, no, is that truth? Do I have God in it? Do I have God's promises in this anxious future that my mind is trying to tell me about? If the answer is no, bye-bye. You're not even, don't even stay in my brain. I like to read scripture to myself because that reminds me and it heals me. So I'm going to read another scripture to you that's out of Isaiah. Something that I love, love, love to read over myself when I'm feeling like I'm feeling discouraged or I'm feeling like I have no hope for my future. This is out of Isaiah chapter 43 verses 18 through 19. It says, remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. God is telling you and me that no matter what has happened to you, no matter what your fears are of the future, He is not wanting you to consider your past. He's wanting you to think that he is going to do something new in your life. He's even creating a new person in you. When you accept Jesus into your life, Jesus seals you with his Holy Spirit and he creates a new person out of you. There's a new person and a new future that you have available. If you give your life to the Lord, there is never going to be something in your past that will keep you tied up in fear and condemnation. There is nothing that God is ashamed of, of your past. God loves you and therefore he's saying, don't you, don't you see it? Don't you perceive it? He is going to make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Think about that rivers in the, the desert. What is desert about your life right now? What feels dry? What feels hopeless? What feels hard? What feels challenging right now? Think of those incredibly hard things. Think of your heart being so dark and 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 riddled with anxiety or depression and think about God making a new heart for you, a new mind for you and creating rivers in the desert. In the desert of your soul, in the desert of your mind, he is going to make a way. He's creating something new within you. Can you perceive it? Can you believe it? Is that, that to me, like, that makes my heart so excited because there's been so much time that I have spent dwelling in the past and being anxious about my future. And I have been hijacked in my brain by the enemy to only stay in those two realms and forget about the present moment that God has given me. No matter what you have been through, no matter what I have been through, we are here right now. You are listening to this. I am I am delivering this as a message from God, right? We are alive and there's a reason why. If we stay stuck in the past or if we stay stuck in a fabricated future that may never come, We're never going to see the goodness that God has for you and me today. Let's open our eyes. Let's open our ears to what the Lord is doing in our lives in this present moment. One of my favorite Bible verses is out of 2 Corinthians. It's chapter 5, verse 17. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he or she is a new creation. The old one has passed away. Behold, the new has come. Behold, you are new. If you accept Jesus into your life, there nothing about you or your old self will come into the mix. There's a journey, right? It's not like it just happens instantaneously, but there are a few changes that I noticed right away when I accepted Christ. I felt 
so much peace. I felt more peace than I have ever felt in my entire life. God calls us to him. That's his gracious spirit to call us to himself. And he does that through different means, right? I believe that if you come to know the Lord, if you come to Christ, you become a new person. And how exciting is that, right? I know for me, I have made so many mistakes in my past. I have so much that I carry as far as trauma and things that I'm not happy about of my past. And to think that God sees me as a new person, oh, that makes me so happy. The last verse that I'll share with you is out of Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you, to give you a future and a hope. Can you believe that? God is going to give you and I a future and a hope. And he's giving us this this assurance that there is nothing that we can go through without him. That he's giving us a future. A future where he is standing in victory. A future where he is standing in victory with you by his right hand. Don't lose sight of your present moment. Don't lose sight of what God is doing in your life today. I'm going to pray for us. Dear Heavenly Father, I just thank you so much for my beloved friends. I thank you, Lord, that you are ever present, that you are present and that you are perfect and that we don't have to be perfect, Lord. I pray, God, that you would help us to be present, to completely bow down and surrender to your will, to learn how to live day by day without dwelling on our thoughts in the past or the future where you have not given us your peace, your covenant peace that comes from knowing you. And Lord, you have plans to prosper us and help us to really believe that. Help us to believe that you have good things for us up ahead. Even if it doesn't look like it's a good plan, Lord, you have a good plan. You are creating something new in us and Gosh, I feel it. I could feel it springing forth. Thank you that in the desert of our hearts and souls, you have made a way. You have created rivers in the desert places. I pray for healing for the old wounds that that mark our soul and our hearts and our minds. I pray, God, for healing of anything that has happened to us in the past. I pray for my friend that you would help them to see themselves as you see them and help them to be in this present moment of their lives, God, so that they can enjoy your perfect peace, that it would guard their hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. In the name of Christ, I pray. Amen. For Thank you so much for tuning in this week. I really love you and I hope that you share this video with someone who needs to learn how to be in the present moment. And I will see you next week. God willing. Bye-bye. This has been a Libby Air podcast, a production of LibbyAir.com. Some of the products and services mentioned are paid promotions. Any advice should be confirmed with a qualified professional on all matters. The opinions and ideas are for entertainment purposes only and belong to the Libier trademark. All rights reserved.